Hi, I'm Patrick Perry. I'd like to, to show you Onikolo Wikipedia. I'd like to, to show you. Okay, this is a Onikolo Wikipedia. Now, listen to me out loud. Now, now listen to this. Uniqlo. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Uniqloco, Limited. Logo used since November 2006. Type. Wholly owned subsidiary. Industry. Fashion retail. Founded. Ube, Yamaguchi, Japan 1949, 72 years ago. Headquarters. Midtown Tower, Akasaka Ninchom, Minato, Tokyo, Japan. Key people Tadashi Yanai, Chairman, President and CEO, Takahiro Wakabayashi, Senior Vice President. Products Clothing Number of employees Over 30,000 workers. Parent Fast Retailing, 2005 present website uniculo.com uniqloco limited kabushikikasha unikuro us slash uniqlo slash uniqlo one japanese pronunciation jame nick Mro, is a japanese casual wear designer manufacturer and retailer to the company is a wholly owned subsidiary of fast retailing co limited three contents one history 1.1 Origins in Japan 1.2 Private Label Strategy 2 International Operations 2.1 Australia 2.2 Bangladesh 2.3 Belgium 2.4 Canada 2.5 China 2.6 France 2.7 Germany 2.8 India 2.9 Indonesia 2.10 Malaysia 2.11 The Netherlands 2.12 The Philippines 2.13 South Korea 2.14 Singapore 2.15 Spain 2.16 United Kingdom 2.17 United States 2.18 Vietnam 3 Controversies 4 Art for All Partnership with Jeffrey Deitch 5 awards 6 references 7 external links History edit Uniqlo flagship store in Shinsibashi Suji, Osaka Origins in Japan edit A Yamaguchi based company, Agari Shoji, which, until then, had been operating men's clothing shops called Men's Shop OS, was founded in March 1949 in Ube, Yamaguchi 4 in May 1984, it opened a unisex casual wear store in Fukuromaki, Nakaku, Hiroshima, under the name Unique Clothing Warehouse.5 Initially, the brand was going to be registered as a shortened contraction of Unique Clothing.6 However, in 1988, during administration work in Hong Kong for registering the brand, staff in charge of registration misread the CSQ, and that is how the brand name was born 7 Tadashi Yanai then changed the store name to Uniqlo across Japan 8 in September 1991, the name of the company was changed from Agari Shoji to Fast Retailing, and by April 1994, there were over 100 Uniqlo stores operating throughout Japan citation needed. Private Label Strategy Edit Former Uniqlo logo used from 1999, continued to be used alongside the current logo in Japan until 2009. In 1997, Fast Retailing adopted a set of strategies from American retailer The Gap, known as Spot, for specialty store slash retailer of private label apparel, meaning that they would produce their own clothing and sell it exclusively citation needed they engaged the retail brand consultancy, CIA, Inc. slash the brand architect group to guide the company through the realization of this strategy, including consulting on merchandise, 
visual merchandising and display, store design, and a new logo designed by Richard Sirianni and S.Y. Chen of the brand architect group's Los Angeles office citation needed Uniqlo had begun outsourcing their clothing manufacturing to factories in China where labor was cheap, a well-established corporate practice citation needed Japan was in the depths of a recession at the time, and the low-cost goods proved popular nine their advertising campaigns, clothing quality, and new retail layouts also proved fruitful ten. In creating its clothing lines, Uniqlo embraces both Shun and Kinobot. Shun means timing, best timing, but also at the same time it's a trend, something that's updated and just in time, neither early nor late. The company offers clothing basics, but basics that are current, that respond to what's going on today in art and design. Kinobi means function and beauty, joined together, the clothing is presented in an organized, rational manner, and that very organization and rationality creates an artistic pattern and rhythm. All these qualities reflect the defining characteristics of modern Japanese culture, modern Japanese-ness. Nobuo Domi, CEO, Uniqlo USA, April 2007, 1. In November 1998, it opened their first urban Uniqlo store in Tokyo's trendy Harajuku district, and outlets soon spread to major cities throughout Japan citation needed in 2001, sales turnover and gross profit reached a new peak, with over 500 retail stores in Japan citation needed when Uniqlo decided to expand overseas, it separated Uniqlo from the parent company one and established fast retailing, Jiangsu, Apparel Co., Limited in China. In 2002, their first Chinese Uniqlo outlet was opened in Shanghai along with four overseas outlets in London, England citation needed. 2005 saw more overseas expansion, with stores opening in the United States, New York City, Hong Kong, Tsim Sha Sui, and South Korea, Seoul, their South Korean expansion being part of a joint venture with Lottie citation needed as of year end 2005, in addition to its overseas holdings, Uniqlo had around 700 stores within Japan citation needed by 2006, sales were $4 billion won by April 2007, the company had set a global sales goal of $10 billion and a ranking among the top 5 global retailers, joining what at the time was Gap, H&M, Inditex and Limited Brands 1. Fast Retailing signed a design consulting contract for Uniqlo products with fashion designer Jill Sander in March 2009-11 Jiatsi Chen was approached by Uniqlo to produce a capsule collection of ready-to-wear pieces to launch in November 2010, while Asia's largest Uniqlo store outside Japan opened its doors in Kuala Lumpur in the same month citation needed. Uniqlo Jeans at their Tokyo store On September 2, 2009, Fast Retailing announced that the company would target annual group sales of 5 trillion yen, approximate 61.2 billion US dollars, and pre-tax profit from operations of 1 trillion yen, approximate 12.2 billion US dollars, by 2020. This means that the company is aiming to become the world's biggest specialty retailer of private label apparel with a continuous growth rate of 20% per year. The figure breaks down as 1 trillion yen from Uniqlo's Japan business, 3 trillion yen from its international business, and 1 trillion yen from Japan-related and global brand business. Clarify the company's international business target breaks down as 1 trillion yen in China, 1 trillion in other Asian countries and 1 trillion in Europe and the United States 12. In October 2018, Uniqlo collaborated with designer Alexander Wang to create a line of heat tech layerable basics including tank tops, leggings, underwear, and body suits 13. On June 3, 2019, artist and recent Dior on collaborator KAWS participed on KAWS X Uniqlo UT perhaps because all the other collections were the subdued Uniqlo trademark, KAWS's subversive art was able to stand out all the more. International Operations Edit Map of Countries with Uniqlo Stores As of November 30, 2019, the company reported that 2,249 Uniqlo stores were operational worldwide 14. Australia Edit Uniqlo in Perth, Australia 
Uniqlo opened its first Australian store in Melbourne in April 2014-15 it expanded into Queensland the following year, with the introduction of two shops in Brisbane 15 Uniqlo opened a shop in Chadstone Shopping Centre in Melbourne, Victoria, the largest shopping centre in the Southern Hemisphere, in October 2016 when it was redeveloped 16 there are currently 22 stores in Australia, including in Sydney and Perth. There is also a Uniqlo store in the Eastland Shopping Centre in Ringwood, Victoria 17. Bangladesh Edit Uniqlo started its first store in Dhaka, Bangladesh, on July 5, 2013. There it is known as Grameen Uniqlo, owing to its social business concept joint venture with Grameen Bank. There are currently 14 stores in Dhaka, one store in Gazipur and one in Narsingby 18. Belgium Edit the first Belgian Uniqlo store opened in October 2015 at Medir, Antwerp 19 a second store followed at the Widgen Gem Shopping Centre on March 25 in the same year 20 October 19, 2017 saw the opening of a third store in Brussels 21. Canada Edit Uniqlo in Canada Uniqlo opened their first Canadian store at the Toronto Eaton Centre on September 30, 2016 followed by a second store at the Yorkdale Shopping Centre on 20 October 2016 22 measuring at 28,000 and 24,000 square feet, both stores are five times the size of the Maji store that opened in Toronto in 2014 23 three new stores in Ontario opened in 2018 at Vaughan Mills, CF Markville and Square One Shopping Centre 24 Uniqlo opened the new Oshawa location at the Oshawa Centre in March 2019 and opened a new new market location at the Upper Canada Mall in April 2019, bringing the total number of stores in Ontario to 725 a third Canadian store, the first outside of Ontario and the first in Western Canada, opened at Burnaby's Metropolis at Metrotown in October 2017 26 to be followed by Surrey's Guilford Town Centre 27 and Richmond Centre 28 in Richmond, BC. A new store opened at Coquitlam Centre in Coquitlam, BC on 14 September 2018 29 30 a new West Edmonton Mall. Store opened on September 27, 2019. 31 32 a location opened on October 23, 2020 at the Montreal Eaton Centre in part of the former Eaton store, and later Lales de Lomode, Mode, the first Uniqlo location in Quebec. China Edit Uniqlo in San Latun, Beijing, China. Uniqlo entered the Chinese mainland market in 2002. As of August 2017, there were 555 stores in China, including in Beijing, Guangzhou, Chongqing, Chengdu, Nanjing, Ningbo, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Shijia. Tianjin and Xi'an 33 the Chinese store count rose further to 782 at the end of September 2020. Given the population of 1.3 billion, I think we can go for about 3,000 stores, fast retailing chief Tadashi and I told the Nikkei, indicating plans to continue opening locations in the world's most populous country 34. In May 2011, the magazine Shiken Bunshun Clarification Needed published a story alleging that Uniqlo had forced employees at its stores and factories in China to work long hours for little pay. In response, Uniqlo unsuccessfully sued the weekly's publisher, Bunjai Shunju, for 220 million yen for libel 3536. A 2015 online video of a couple having sex in a Beijing Uniqlo store changing room became notorious among Chinese internet users. Chinese police arrested at least five people in connection with the incident, allegedly including the couple and three other disseminators of the video, for having severely violated socialist core values 37 The New York Times noted that the store's exterior had become a popular venue for people to gather and take pictures in sexual poses reminiscent of the video 38. France Edit On November 17, 2014, Uniqlo opened its first store in eastern France, and the second store in France outside Greater Paris, in the city of Strasbourg 39. Germany Edit 
Uniqlo's German flagship store opened on April 11, 2014 at Tauensienstrasse, Berlin 40 by 2019 the company operated nine stores in Germany, six of those in Berlin 41. India edit. Uniqlo opened a store in India in October 2019, following the company's announcement about the same on 9 May 2018 42 the company will set up a wholly owned subsidiary in India 43. Indonesia edit. Uniqlo in Siputra World, Surabaya, Indonesia. On June 22, 2013, Uniqlo opened its first Indonesian store at Lodi Shopping Avenue, Jakarta. It has 40 stores as of May 2021, spreading east to Makassar, Denpasar, and Surabaya, and west to Medan, Batam, and Pekanbaru 44 on April 9, 2021. Its Indonesian flagship and most iconic store opened at Pondok Inda Mall 3, Jakarta. Malaysia edit. On November 4, 2010, Uniqlo opened its first store in Malaysia, in Fahrenheit 88 located in Bukit Bintang, Kuala Lumpur 45 as of October 2020, Uniqlo now has 50 outlets located across Malaysia, including an online store 45 Malaysia became the fifth country outside Japan to get a Uniqlo roadside store 46 the 15,100 square feet store, located in Bandar Sri Damansara was opened in December 2020-47. The Netherlands edit. The first Dutch Uniqlo store was opened in Amsterdam on September 28, 2018. The official opening was marred by protests against Uniqlo's unethical business practices in its factory in Jakarta, Indonesia. The Philippines edit. Uniqlo's first store in the Philippines opened at the SM Mall of Asia on 15 June 2012 48 on its 6th anniversary, the company opened its flagship store in the country at Glorieta 5 in Makati, it opened on October 5, 2018. The store is the biggest in Southeast Asia 49. Uniqlo had 60 stores across the Philippines as of October 2019 50 it has partnered with the SM Group's SM Retail Incorporated to bring the brand to the Philippines 51. South Korea edit. Uniqlo in Lottie World Mall, Seoul, South Korea. In November 2011, Uniqlo generated more than 2 billion won, 1.7 million dollars, in one day's sales on November 11th when it opened Asia's largest flagship store in central Seoul. The sales figure was the highest ever set by a fashion outlet in Korea. Uniqlo sales over 1.2 billion US dollars with 150 shops in South Korea. Lottie owns 49% of Uniqlo's Korean subdiary 52 it currently operates 180 stores in South Korea. On December 6, 2020, the flagship store in Myeongdong was closed due to low sales from COVID-19 and anti-Japanese protests 53. Singapore edit. As of 2021, Uniqlo had 26 stores in Singapore. Uniqlo opened its first store in Singapore on April 9, 2009 in Tampines 1, which has been closed down on January 17, 2021 and instead, a new store at Tampines Mall was opened on February 5, 2021 and has the similar format as Budges Plus, Ion Orchard, Orchard Central and Plaza Singapura which has two floors, one for men and one for women 54 the first global flagship store opened on September 2, 2016 at Orchard Central replacing 313 at Somerset. Numerous expansion plans were unveiled in 2020 and Uniqlo Ion Orchard and Plaza Singapura, were also heavily expanded and is called Uniqlo Town for Orchard Road 55. Spain edit. Uniqlo began operations in Spain in 2016-56 with its online store, and in September 2017 opened its flagship store in Barcelona 56, Pasig de Gracia. It also owns two more stores in Barcelona 57, 58 and one store in Madrid. United Kingdom edit. As of 2019, Uniqlo had 13 shops in England. Ambitious expansion plans in the early 2000s were reversed, with 16 shops being closed in 2003 59 including those in Manchester 60 Coventry 61 and Leicester. 
Uniqlo opened a brand new shop in Manchester on Market Street in April 2962. United States Edit Uniqlo's flagship store in Chicago on the Magnificent Mile. In September 2005, Uniqlo opened its first United States store in the Menlo Park Mall located in Edison, New Jersey 63 in November 2006, Uniqlo opened its first global flagship store in the Soho Fashion District of Manhattan, New York City. New fashion designers joined the store's team to boost and rebirth fashion concepts catering to the U.S. market 64. As part of Fast Retailing's 2020 plan, the company has stated that it plans to generate $10 billion in annual sales in the United States from 200 stores, which will lead to a location in every major U.S. city. This goal was stated when the company's only U.S. presence was its handful of stores in the New York City Area 65 soon after the company began an expansion in the United States. In October 2015, Uniqlo opened its first store in the Midwest with a Chicago store on Michigan Avenue 66. In October 2019, Uniqlo signed a lease for its first North American distribution center in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, leasing a space of over 950,000 sq foot 67. Vietnam Edit On October 17, 2019, Uniqlo officially arranged the first store in Vietnam, which is expected to open at the end of 2019 in District 1, the center of Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh Located on a corner of Le Tan Tan and Dong Khoi streets, Uniqlo Dong Khoi is located right in front of Parks in Saigon Tourist Plaza, one of the most popular and widely known shopping destinations 68. Controversies Edit In January 2015, a number of labor rights violations were reported at Uniqlo suppliers in China 69707172 Uniqlo pledged to remedy the violations 7374. In June 2015, Uniqlo factory workers went on strike in relation to layoff 7576. In November 2015, Investigations into the measures Uniqlo introduced in the wake of the January 2015 revelations found that the remedies had been only partially successful, with significant violations continuing to occur 7778. In October 2016, the report This Way to Dystopia, exposing Uniqlo's abuse of Chinese garment workers 79 by SACOM and War on Want claimed that it was still the case that excessive overtime, low pay, Dangerous working conditions and oppressive management were common in Uniqlo factories in China and Cambodia. In 2019, a number of Australian workers reported that bullying and harassment is rife, there were shouting rooms, and a toxic work culture. They claimed they had to work 18-hour days, had to fold seven shirts per minute, and that everyone leaves with some form of PTSD. one Also in 2019, an international Uniqlo advert was uniquely subtitled for the South Korean market in a manner widely perceived there to have trivialized the trauma of comfort women 82, 83, 84, 85. In January 2021, Uniqlo shirts were blocked at the U.S. border over concerns of violations related to a ban on cotton products produced in the Xinjiang region of China due to reports of forced labor. A protest was filed by Uniqlo's parent company Fast Retailing, but was denied 86. Window Sign in Shinjuku, 2010 Art for All Partnership with Jeffrey Deach Edit Launched in January 2017, Art for All was a partnership with New York art dealer and curator Jeffrey Deach. The project involved selling, for under $100 per item, 65 limited edition products made by commissioned artists such as Marie Roberts, Starley Kine, and Ken Kagami 87. Awards Edit The German fashion designer Jill Sander joined Uniqlo in 2009, and was appointed creative director of the brands Menswear and Womenswear, as well as launching a new label, Plus J Collection, which won the 2011 Brit Insurance Design Fashion Award 88. Well, who oh, oh, like my videos? Who oh, hope you like it? Well, maybe that's it.